Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing this look with gold eyes and pinkish purplish lips and this is a great look for Valentine's Day and it's very soft and it's kind of different because everyone wants to do the pink eyes, the purple makeup, whatever not on their eyes too, and their lips, but this one is a little bit different because the gold complements the pinkish purple really pretty. Also, before I film this um, video, I already had done my uh, foundation and I did my contouring. So if you want to see how I contour or how I do my foundation routine, please like the video below and I will make sure to make a video on that. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. First thing that I am going to do is use a primer to hold my look in place so that it doesn't budge, it doesn't crease, and it'll stay the whole day if you use the primer right. The primer that I am going to be using is from e.l.f. and it's only like about three bucks. So, and then I am just going to use my ring finger and just Blend that all in. Make sure it's all blended in, otherwise you're really not going to get the best base for your eyeshadow. And no matter how well you do on your eyeshadow, it's still not going to look as good as it would if you had everything blended in. And for today's look, the main colors that I am going to be using are from BH Cosmetics and uh, it's from the California collection. And the two colors from this set I will use today is Malibu and San Francisco. So before that, I wanted to make my base a little bit stronger and I wanted the base to make the rest of my eyeshadow look more vibrant and a lot more colorful than I would otherwise. So what I'm going to be using in order to do that, so what I'm going to be using in order to do that is Maybelline 24 Color um, Tattoo by um, Ice Studio and this is probably one of my favorite products from Maybelline because it just really holds your eyeshadow together the whole day and literally when they say 24 hours it is 24 hours it is not lying so this color is in this color is in fierce and tangy so it's like an orange even though that I am going to be doing a gold look today this orange has yellow like this color has yellow undertones which will make my gold really pop out and it won't even look orange after I put the um, gold on top. The next thing that I am going to do is take a blending brush that's just like really floppy like this and just blend your base in with the rest of the eye so it doesn't look like you have any harsh lines or anything like that. So now I am going to go on to the um, gold color in the BH Cosmetics set, the California collection, and I'm going to use the color Malibu right here to just go over that orange that we just put on. Now I'm going to take a contour brush from ELF and I'm going to use that same palette and I'm going to use the color San Francisco right here and it's like a brown color and you can use any similar colors from any other company if you want. You don't have to use the same ones I'm using. You can still get about the same look. black color and the one I'm using is from Estee Lauder this one and really you can use any black you want it doesn't matter and I'm just going to take this black I'm just going to take this black and put this on the outer corner of my eyes to just make it a little bit more dramatic. Next, 
I am going to highlight my brow bone and the inner V of my eyes. Highlighting the brow bone just gives you a more defined bone structure and the inner V will just make your eyes look bigger and more dramatic. In order to do this, I will use a kind of like a shiny white color like this. Okay, now moving on to eyeliner, I am going to use a black eyeliner from Starlook called Obsidian and I'm going to line top my eyes and make a wing and then I'm going to go over it with a liquid eyeliner in order to make the look just look more defined and so it doesn't look as powdery from the eyeshadow powder from your powder from your face and all that so it's better if you go over with a gel or a um, liquid eyeliner after you use the coal. I'm going to go on to the eyebrows now and fill them in. What I use to fill in my eyebrows are what I use to fill what I use to fill in my eyebrows is the brow bar to go light whitening whitening and lightning and um, this is one of my favorites because it just gives you a really natural look really easily because some of these brow powders just take a lot of work to make it look natural, but this is just like one time. Oh, okay. Um, mm. It's like all in my face. <laughs> one time and you're done. Fully like this, and I just kind of push up my hair like this. I take a small angle brush, this one is from ALF, and it is fairly inexpensive, I think like three bucks at the most, you use one buck, I think it was three actually. And um, I just take this, this part of it, which is just like some stuff to keep your um, eyebrows in place. It's kind of, it's not sticky, but it, it's like wax, it's wax, there you go. So I just put that over my eyebrows where I just want it to stay held together. Which is probably like from the middle to the end that I do that. And then what I'll do is like I will mix these two colors together as I will to make to fill in the eyebrow. So your eyebrow technically goes from lightest to darkest. So you should work on it accordingly to that. I'm going to move on to the cheeks now and I'm going to start with blush. And the blush that I'm going to be using is Sheer Amarose from Lancome. Which is a really pretty pink like this. I am going to use Soft and Gentle from MAC. It is a skin finished for skin finished? Skin finish for the um, highlight. Now I'm going to move on to the lips and for the lips I'm going to start off by using a lip liner by Starlux called Tickle, Tickle, Tickle Me Pink. And um, I'm going to blend that in with a flat eyeliner brush that I use as a lip brush from e.l.f. And it's really helpful to blend in eyeliner. I mean, blend in lip liner. I can't talk to To blend in lip liner is really helpful.
last and final thing that I'm going to do is use a um, Mac. The last, okay. the last and final thing that I'm going to do is use a setting spray by Mac called um, Mac 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 Flex. <laughs> okay, I gotta take a break here. Mac Fix Plus. Okay, there you go. Mac Fix Mac Fix Plus, and um, this makes your face really dewy, and especially during the winter time when you have really dry, dry skin and everything. And even when you use face creams and whatnot, it doesn't really help you. And it still leaves your skin looking a little bit dull, but this will really fix it and give you really glowy, dewy skin. And also set your makeup into place for the whole entire day.